Bell has taken a lot of this work forward. And over the, just the next few months, people will see huge um, progress on all of that. But also work with um, the environment partners with a view to arranging a green summit. This was already in hand, so the question is, will we have one? Or are we going to have one anyway? And we will um, do that. We'll invite a, a wide audience. And it will include the co-development of a report set out the state and city regions environment um, so that we can benchmark it um, and track our collective performance. And uh, we're also providing in-kind support at senior officer level for that. And finally, um, issues such as green spaces, parkland and development decisions are not issues for the combined authority. So people are bringing individual application issues here it is not the right forum to do that and we will not respond to them. Individual planning applications sit with local authorities, always have, and uh, I think people are quite concerned that they always will. Um, so we will send a more detailed response to Ms. Moore. Um, but with that said, there's also a third question that we've had, not off um, Josie, but off Mr. Hawley, who unfortunately again can't attend. So again, Jill, if you can give us a praise of that. Thank you, Mr Mayor. This question relates to St Helens and in particular the foot flow in St Helens Town Centre suffering decline with a large number of shops closing. The suggestion is that to improve the viability of the town centre, would the combined authority consider reopening an old disused railway line which ran from St Helens Central to St Helens Junction? Um, there's then a subsequent proposal that this be linked uh, to the line at Newton the Willows um, that would then tie in with proposed Warrington District Tram Network. It recognised, the question recognises about trams being powered by hydrogen um, and goes on to say that such an arrangement could uh, create jobs and put the fabric together to start the regeneration of St Helens Town Centre for future generations. And again, everybody knows about what's happening on the high street because you see it, um, every one of us has got um, communities where because of online shopping habits there's been issues and unfortunately the government needs to do a little bit more to help those local authorities who are struggling with this issue but we've started to look at what we can do as a combined authority and that's why we've got the, the town centres fund and they're hoping that can act as a catalyst because that's not going to put all the wrongs right we're, we're doing that and also what we'll do is look at the specifics of the issue that uh, Mr Hawley has um, raised and we'll respond to him within 10 working days. Um, item 11 is petitions and statements and we've not received any petitions and statements. And then just finally, um, I mentioned just at the very beginning that um, it'll be Margaret Carney's last combined authority meeting uh, before she retires, far too early to retire, she won't retire anyway, no such thing, uh, but she retires on the 31st of May after 40 years of local government service with the last 10 years as the Chief Executive of Sefton Council. Uh, Margaret was pivotal in establishing the Command Authority which saw her take on the lead officer responsibility for health, well-being and social care in the city region. Some really good stuff that is actually out there and happening uh, as we speak. And uh, it was in itself a challenge in the agenda and I'm thankful for her contribution as I'm sure all the leaders in the mayor are. Um, so finally on behalf of the Command Authority, I'd like to take the opportunity on behalf of us all to thank you Margaret for all your service and support and the commitment to the Command Authority and wish uh, you an, an enjoyable retirement, as I say, if there is such a thing, um, and at no public expense, because we're not allowed to, but on a personal level, I've just got a little...
ten years ago I was on the, the appointments panel that actually appointed one of this as, a, as our chief executive and her support for, for uh, just personally at the moment, her support for me both as a cabinet member deputy leader and in recent years as leader being really of great quality, very supportive and advice sometimes when I may come up with a madcap idea a way of uh, talking me out of it has always been um, really well done. So, but she has great people skills as well. You know, Margaret, across our borough, has become well respected within all of our partners and all of our partnerships, mostly because we're skilled, but also their people skills are really, really good. I, I mentioned the other day, I can't resist doing this, I mentioned the other day that Margaret has been for me, she's been a bit of a diamond for me, the go-to person. Her role here has been really important, hasn't it, as we've developed the combined authority, as, as we've developed the mayoral combined authority, and, and the role that Margaret's played in, in that development has been really important. important. So she has been my, my diamond, and of course, I'm absolutely certain that Dwayne Johnson will become my rock. <laughs> So, on, on behalf, just to echo your comments, Chair, but on behalf of the Combined Authority, just formally note that our thanks to our with our the in space. I do hope we're camp court now, because um, we're preserving for posterity. Um, the next meeting of the Combined Authority is going to take place on Friday the 28th of June at 1 o'clock. And can I thank you all for your attendance and declare the meeting closed.